Let's talk about first trimester feels and fears. The feels really were fears. Video is gonna get super raw and real. I just want to put this out there because I feel like personally I went through a really deep and emotional time for myself and I felt really alone through that process and so if there's anyone else that might have something like this similar and this might help you or make you feel less alone that's why I'm putting this out there so little disclaimer anyways let's talk about first trimester feels and fears because it's a purging process you're going from your role like so there's like these different archetypes of women and this particular transition is from maiden to mother so when you're the maiden you know you're kind of in this like free experience where you have freedom and there's just like this shift that happens when you are becoming a mother where you have to really get real with yourself and be like okay I need to take care of this other human being how am I gonna do that how anyways they have something called there's some, they they the the rulers of pregnancy no there is something called morning sickness and there's this scene from sex in the city when Miranda says something along the lines of like they don't call it morning sickness because it's in the morning because it definitely it's not in the morning girl this shit lasts <laughs> For me, I will be sick until like at least two or <laughs> Morning sickness because you're mourning your old life. You're mourning that version of yourself that is slipping away and you know you're cocooning you're going into this new version of yourself that's going to literally create life like you're becoming a portal from the other realms so the emotional side of this is is taxing you know and i think that there's something to be said about this process and understood like i personally i mean not everybody gets morning sickness not everybody you know has the same symptoms every pregnancy is completely different or so i've heard i've only had one <laughs> during this process you're purging so i thought i felt like it seemed like the purging that i would have because i would literally like throw up would just be like the old self or the dark parts of self and whether that's what it is or not i don't know um you know but on so many levels there's so much that we're consuming and when you have a little baby growing inside of you there's such a like innocent pure being it's really take care of them and really protect their energy and their essence because they're taking on a role and the whole cycle is a process so that first trimester is you know it can be dark it reminded me of a dark night of the soul kind of process that i went through and during the time it you know in the midst of it i wasn't I didn't have as deep of an understanding as I do now looking back, but during that time, you know, you go through this list of fears of like, am I, can I really trust this person that I'm having a baby with? Is it, is it the right time for me to bring a baby into this world? Like, is this the, definitely the path that I want to go to? Like, you have to ask yourself those hard questions and really face facts and face reality when, you know, you're presented with this divine mission opportunity so during that process i think it's okay to go through what you need to go through and you know i i journaled a lot during it i spent a lot of time alone and i just went inward because i needed to know fully that i was listening to my own intuition i didn't want all these outside influences and opinions and those are your soul beings that you are contracted into this earth to assist their evolution to assist their growth they picked you for a reason so you know that was kind of the thing that i kept thinking is that i needed to be firm in this new role i needed to really take it on fully and not you know part of me be like one foot in one foot out because i'm just like i think because i have such intense opposing sun and moon signs my sun is in leo and my moon and rising are both in aquarius and they're very opposing so i'm conflicted you know a lot or you can just say i'm a conflicted person whatever if you don't believe in astrology speaking of astrology this amazing 
picture that you can't see that I'll put a better picture here. Epic artist, she's she's beautiful. She made this for me. This is my birth chart, um, and she makes birth charts. So if you want her info, that first trimester process is a time for you to, as a woman, to really step fully into your new role and step fully into this new experience. And sometimes change can be really hard because we start to fear, we start to think of the negative outcomes. But if we believe that everything is aligning for us and everything is perfect and life is beautiful and every experience is just leading us to deeper parts of ourselves or a greater expansion or some sort of lesson that we're supposed to learn if you really believe that stuff then you can take on these roles and you can really embody the mission even if it seems like how in the fuck am I gonna do this you might be feeling scared in your pregnancy or you know, having these fears. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have these fears. Like, sis, you're gonna have fears. Like, it's natural. Like, this is a big thing that you're doing. And in the process, you're gonna feel a rainbow of emotions. But what I am saying is to direct those fears or negative thought processes towards that which you want to you know, call in. We're focusing on the divinity of our lives and we're trying to create a new earth and we're bringing in these epic light being children that are here to teach us to really step up and, and do the work and be the embodiment version of, the, of our best version of ourselves. And I know it's cheesy and we heard it a thousand times, but I think that that's why you're here listening to this video. You want to embrace fully, go for it. Allow yourself to feel the fears and do it anyway, because the miracle and the magic that waits for you on the other side is impeccable. And it gets better. The first trimester is brutal, and then it gets better. And like my second trimester, it was beautiful. If you guys want me to do maybe a little series on each of the trimesters and how I felt like I was learning and evolving and how I was processing it, for me, that first trimester, as I said, was such a purging process of facing myself and, you know, physically purging out, like, because I was so sick. And um, I literally was puking my brains out, like, <laughs> every day. Um, so that was fun and cool and super great. But it was, it was good because it came at a time where I had just went home to tell my family like hey i'm pregnant all excited and then um after the excitement literally the day after i told my parents was when my morning sickness really started and i threw up 20 times that first day <sighs> since then i have found you know some remedies some plant medicine that's helpful to this experience and if I feel called, I will share everything with you. One day, I've kept a lot part, a lot of parts of this pregnancy private to protect Ocean and his soul coming into this realm because protecting his little soul is what's felt like is my purpose in the beginning and throughout this whole process. And I just kept knowing in myself that if I'm really meant to be this little being's mother and I really am able to embody this because that was so much of what it was is like am I ready have I done the work like because I am a spiritual person that really wants to be like bringing epic light beings into this world to help really help them really grow and I was like have I done enough work to where like I can guide another being through this like just like really seeing myself as the powerful mother that I am and it's just it's beautiful but you know it was messy and it's still messy and my hor you know there's so many hormones flooding through your system in the beginning and practicing well, throughout the whole thing but especially the beginning and you're adjusting and you're processing and you start to plan and judge and you know all these things but don't be afraid to humble yourself later and soften into the role and he just really stepped up and and really showed me how ready that we were in the physical realm and then i was like deciding i was ready in the emotional spiritual realm and then when we came together it was really beautiful because like i said the first trimester if you 
months uh, for like a month or two I was at home and just in my little safe portal that I've created for healing and everything and going through that process and then the second trimester I was back here in Costa Rica and healing my relationship solidifying okay this is where we're at and I don't blame you and I, I see that you're by my side and on my side and I trust you and just affirming the pregnancy and process that I wanted rather than succumbing to what I thought was gonna happen and just seeing all of the things I was told by society of like how pregnancy would be of what motherhood is and how things need to be and, and what you, pr order things need to go in you know and just facing all that and deciding like okay that's cool that everyone thinks that but this is what I'm gonna do this is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be great <laughs> I don't I'm not here to just say like I think a lot of what I've put online is the positive side of my pregnancy because as I had all those fears and pain in the beginning the whole pregnancy has just shown me the complete opposite I thought oh, I'm gonna look hideous I'm gonna look this way I'm gonna feel this way I'm not gonna have enough of that I'm not gonna have enough of this and like I've just been so abundant and so much I've had so much support mentally physically emotionally from the people around me from community and I've just been shown time and time again that this little baby is here to heal me and so many others and bring this beautiful love and light into my life and so many around me and everybody that ocean comes into contact with so take a deep breath slow down for a little bit and just know that like this is just part of the process it's all temporary just like everything in this world may you be blessed may you find peace may you just embrace whatever cycle that you're in in your life blessings namaste <laughs>